Hi, welcome. My name is Elizabeth Roscoe, and I'm the marketing coordinator for Vesper Group. And I'm here in our Manchester offices today with co-founder and director James Cameron. And we're going to be discussing some exciting advantages for buyers and sellers in the property market over the next few weeks, moving from 2020 into 2021. Um, but first, James, why don't you tell us a little bit about Vesper Group? Sure, thank you for that uh, introduction, Elizabeth. So the Vesper Group has been going for the last seven years, uh, offices in London, Manchester, and Singapore. Um, a diverse uh, collection of uh, 26 employees speaking nine different languages. So today we're talking about these two big advantages, um, one of which is the domestic stamp duty holiday. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that and why it's important? Sure, so um, it was announced a few months back. Um, in essence, it's a, a reduction in stamp duty, um, especially uh, for people purchasing a property under £500,000, uh, where it's their main home, there's no stamp duty to pay. Um, and if you're a buy-to-let landlord, then there is a reduction in stamp duty. And what sort of time frame are we talking about if people want to take advantage of that? They really have to act fast. Um, I'd say get your offers in within the next couple of weeks. Um, especially for purchasing with a mortgage, you're going to need a few months to complete. Um, so, you know, I would say act now um, unless you're purchasing with cash, whereby you can wait, you know, one to two months. Mm -hmm. And then speaking of cost, um, what would that, that discount look like for someone buying, say, a £500,000 property? Sure, so if it's their principal home, then there's no stamp duty to pay on a property under £500,000. Um, if you buy to that landlord, then you have a reduced rate of uh, 3% um, to pay. Okay, so then on top of this, we have an increase um, in tax being introduced for foreign buyers. Tell us a little bit what that looks like. That's right, so it's been something that the government has been talking about for the last couple of years. In essence, it's a tax on overseas buyers. Uh, buyers purchasing properties in the UK will have to pay an additional 2% um, in tax when it comes to default. And when are we talking about? What's the timeline for that? So that comes into effect from the 1st of April. Uh, okay. And again, in terms of price, um, say for a £500,000 property, what does that look like for people? On £500,000, uh, you'll be looking at paying £10,000 in uh, overseas tax. All right. And what if it's a buy-to-let property? Is there any effect there? No, it's, uh, it's the same for whether it's your principal home or whether you're a buy-to-let landlord. Thank you, James. And thank you. Uh, if you have any questions or want to be in touch with us, please reach out over social media, send us an email, or give us a call.